three assassination attempts, three assassination attempts on Donald Trump's life. And that's, in my humble opinion, just three too many. The New York Post reporting that there was a third attempted uh, assassination on Donald Trump at Coachella yesterday. The triple threat, the police caught it. They caught the guy. Third possible Trump assassination attempt thwarted when armed man arrested outside Coachella rally, sheriff says. A third assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump was thwarted at the last minute Saturday when local cops stopped a man armed with guns and fake passes outside his rally at Coachella, the local sheriff said. Now, this is this is uh, this is the story. The guy's name is Vem Miller. The suspect was caught about a mile from the rally venue with a phony entry pass. According to police, he was also carrying a loaded shotgun, handgun and high capacity magazine. We probably stopped another assassination attempt. Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco said the suspect identified as Vem Miller was intercepted by police at a checkpoint about a half mile from the rally entrance. He was carrying a fake uh, phony pass that said he was a VIP. Miller is believed to be a member of a right wing anti-government organization and was plotting to kill President Trump. Now, Immediately, immediately, uh, we got a little bit of information from this guy. Apparently, he went to UCLA. He has a master's degree. And in 2022, he ran for Nevada State Assembly. Now, since he ran for Nevada State Assembly, I immediately assumed there would be a, a ballotpedia entry on him. And sure enough, here it is. Vem Miller, Republican Party, ran for election to the Nevada State Assembly to represent District 13. He lost in the Republican primary on June 14th. He's received a bachelor's degree in English and American literature with a concentration in creative writing from UCLA. Miller's career experience includes producing, directing TV shows and working in investigative journalism. He produced America Happens and a podcast called Blood Money. He's been affiliated with the N. R.A. Now, uh, folks on Twitter were able to find some video that he posted. And look at this. This is a video of him at the RNC. I was at the RNC. I walked the same hallway that Vem Miller was walking. And he got very close to Donald Trump Jr. Watch this. So one thing I don't get is that everything at this convention, at the Republican National Convention, is uh, cashless. This whole place is cashless. So, I don't know. See, that's a Republican National Convention behind me. Wonderful people, wonderful time. Just not happy that it's all cashless. All right, so he was upset that it was cashless. There you can see he's right in front of Donald Trump Jr., right in front of his face. And then you can see here. There was a, uh, yeah, here he is with Jordan Peterson. I'm not, that's not at the RNC. That's somewhere else. Or maybe it is at the, oh, here he is with Vivek. Maybe that is at the RNC. Maybe he was at some, maybe he was part of the Nevada delegation. There he is with, oh, look at that. <laughs> Newt Gingrich and Vim Miller. Uh, he was making the rounds. Oh, he got all the photos. He got everything that he needed. So this is, oh, there he is with RFK Jr. Now this is at the Make America Healthy again. So this was after the RNC because RFK Jr. didn't jump on board until after the RNC was over. Um, so there you go. That's the that's the fella that police have in custody. And they claim that this is the guy who showed up at Coachella. Uh, this is the guy who showed up at Coachella. And wait a minute, where'd the video go? Uh, hang on. This is the guy they claim who showed up at Coachella with a shotgun, a handgun, and a phony VIP pass, as well as a high-capacity magazine. And uh, the claim is, or the thought process is, that this was yet another attempt on Donald Trump's life that was thwarted. Now, look, I was there, but I mean, that's exactly, that's exactly where I was. I don't know why he was, he was upset about the cashlessness at the RNC. That's a, that's a venue thing that has nothing to do with the RNC. But look, the fact of the matter is that we're now on what we know to be, I mean, we know of three attempts. Don't forget, there were other opportunities for people to get toward Donald Trump, to get close to Donald Trump. There's still also the the uh, unreported on or the, I, not, I don't think we've ever gotten any kind of confirmation as to what caused those folks at the Donald Trump rally uh, last week in, I think it was Nevada, to have that burning sensation in their eyes. Remember people on stage, they were the, they were the victim of some kind of attack. They all had to go to the emergency room and they had burning sensations in their eyes. So this is a constant problem, a recurring problem. Matt Gates said there's at least five assassination teams that we know of and I don't know if this guy's associated with one of them. I don't know if he's part of this far right-wing conspiracy group that hates cashless venues and also Donald Trump. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if he's mad that he lost. 
Maybe he's mad that it, let's see how badly he lost uh, when he ran when he ran in in. Uh, hold on, let me go back to Vem Miller on Ballotpedia. Let's see how badly he lost. He lost. Um, he came in third. He got twenty two percent of the vote. He got thirteen hundred votes in District Thirteen. He lost to Brian Hibbets and Stephen Delisle. So, but he beat Nancy Weiss. Anyway, we're not all the all the information we have now is that this was just reported. Coachella, the Donald Trump rally at Coachella, which, by the way, was in, look at this. This is Coachella. This is where all of the hippies go every year to do drugs and party in the sand and listen to alternative music. Donald Trump packed the place. Over 100,000 people at Coachella. Over 100,000 people packed this venue. I mean, just watch. There's the American flag in the background per usual. But look at when they pan the crowd. I don't know that there's this many people actually at Coachella. This is California. This is miles from the southern border. This is Donald Trump saying, look, we know that California is a blue state. We know that you guys are forgotten. We know that you hate Kamala Harris. We know she's made it horrible for you. But we're going to come there and we're going to rally anyway, because Democrat or Republican, everybody in the United States of America has to do what they can do to make sure that Kamala Harris doesn't do to the United States what she did to California. This is an amazing crowd. An amazing crowd, an incredible event, and uh, and now there's a blemish on it. Now, of course, kudos to the local police for finding the shooter, making sure he didn't get in. And as far as the RNC goes, I know a lot of people are like, what? He got into the RNC? How did he get into the RNC? What? How did he get into the venue? There he is walking around the RNC. Here he is up. He can see down on the stage. Oh, no, he's he's hobnobbing with celebrities. He's right there in front of Donald Trump Jr. Now, I I was at the RNC and let me just I'll, let me let me put your let me put your fears to rest here for just a minute. The RNC is a fortress. The RNC, they they cordoned off the entire area. And in order to even get a pass, if you wanted a ticket to the RNC, you had to pre-register. You had to file with the Secret Service. You had to be vetted. They would go in and they would check your security status. They'd make sure you didn't have any priors, that you weren't a criminal. They'd check your, um, you know, I mean, I had to go in and fill out all kinds of information. They have facial recognition. You have to submit your photo. This guy, of course, ran for ran for a state senate in Nevada. So, I'm sorry, Nevada State Assembly. Um, so he clearly had some kind of FBI file already. And, and he was cleared. Also, when you arrive... At the RNC, you have to present your credentials, whether it's a media credential or a pass. Sometimes it's both. And each day there's a different pass. It's very difficult to fake a pass to the RNC. Once you get to that first checkpoint, there's a multi-tiered um, investigation before you get into the perimeter. You have to first, there's a visual check of your pass. Then there's facial recognition software. Then there's the scanning, you know, like at the airport, the TSA metal detector. All your belongings go in one bin and it goes through. You walk through the metal detector. And every time I walked through the metal, metal, metal detector, there was another wanding at the other end. And this wasn't one of those wanding like you're going into your kid's high school football game. This was a serious wanding. I told the story about how the guy rubbed my breast because I was wearing this actual, sh this same shirt with the metal uh, mother pearl snaps on the pockets. And he just wanted to make sure, you know, it was all, it was all copacetic, but the security was tight. You could not get to where he was. If you were at this particular place, if you were inside the Pfizer forum, if you were walking around on the second level of the venue outside where all of the news organizations were broadcasting. If you were this close, if you were up there getting that bird's eye view of the delegates and of the stage and of Donald Trump, if you were here, you'd been through one of the tightest security checks ever. There's no way anyone in this venue who's not law enforcement has any kind of weapon. If you're this close to Donald Trump Jr., you're not packing anything. And as you can see, he's got his own security there. So even if he lunged for him and tried to punch him in the face or something like that, he'd be tackled He'd be tackled almost immediately. Um, so the security of the RNC is not the issue. The security at Coachella is clearly not the issue either because they were able to get this guy. The issue is there are continued threats on Donald Trump's life. And he's not even the president yet. He's still just a candidate. There's there's been multiple threats that we know of. And and like I mean, Congress knows all about it. Our good buddy, Congressman Michael Waltz whose new book is out, by the way, Hard Truths. Uh, Congressman Michael Waltz, we talked to him last week. He told us all about the assassination committee and how their, their job is to make sure that the FBI is doing their job. They're, they're providing oversight for the FBI to make sure 
that all of these assassination attempts are investigated thoroughly and the results are reported back to Congress and the American people. Because what do we know about crooks? Literally nothing. His body was already cremated. We haven't gotten any information about interviews with his family. We don't know how he got how he got radicalized. We don't know where he got his weapons. We don't know how he got access to the roof. We don't know anything. The FBI has not provided accurate information about crooks and that first assassination attempt in Butler, Pennsylvania. What do we know about, uh, what's the name? Uh, Sean, Shore, War, what, what was his name? You know, the other guy, you know, the thing, the guy that uh, was down at Mar-a-Lago. The guy that was at the, the Trump International Golf Course for 12 hours sitting in the, um, Wesley is his name, uh, sitting in the uh, woods with the tiles and the guns waiting for Donald Trump to come around the bend on his golf match. The guy with all the ties to Ukraine. What do we know about that guy? We need to get insight on that. M Matt Gates, uh, Representative Matt Gates from Florida's first dist district said there's five assassination teams. Who are they? Is Iran one of them? Is Ukraine one of them? Is Russia one of them? Is China involved some way? Are these acts of war against the potential next president of the United States of America? And finally, now, now we got to investigate Vem Miller from Nevada because apparently Vem Miller um, allegedly wanted to kill Donald Trump too. Look, that's one, two, that's way too many assassination attempts. Way too, for, for the United States of America, way too many. We definitely... We get, there's something that has to be done about this. Um, rest assured, when Donald Trump wins the presidency, there will, there, there will be answers.